Police Department reports a decrease in crashes compared to this time last year, but it's hoping to cut that number back even further. KCBD News Channel 11's Imani Jackson tells us how LPD plans to improve traffic safety and reduce accidents and where. Imani? Karen Abner starting tomorrow, you might see more police presence along certain streets across Lubbock. LPD's increased traffic enforcement is part of the Operation Road Risk Reduction. According to the department's officers, have responded to more than 3,000 crashes this year, more than a third which resulted in injuries. That's about 10% less than last year. The increased patrols will be tomorrow and Friday. Officers will increase their patrols between 7 in the morning and 8.30 at night in these areas. 4th Street from the West Loop to Milwaukee Avenue, 19th Street from Frankfurt Avenue to Milwaukee Avenue, Milwaukee Avenue from 66th Street to Spur 327, and 82nd Street from Vicksburg Avenue to Chicago Avenue. These are the areas the Lubbock Police Department says it sees the most crashes. Traffic enforcement in certain areas in town that, that uh, our crime analysis have deemed where we've had higher risks or more accidents. So our job is to go out and, and aggressively enforce those laws to get compliance in those areas and so maybe we can lower the risks of accidents. While there will be increased police presence to try and prevent crashes, Sergeant Sean Knobloch also emphasizes the importance of safe driving. And just be aware of your surroundings. Um, just as you're approaching major intersections, not make abrupt changes, make sure you're signaling your lane changes, uh, not speeding, that's a big factor. LPD believes if drivers follow the laws and use those safety tips, there's a greater chance you won't be involved in a crash and city streets will be safer. There are more than four areas that will be the focus of officers in about two weeks, October 17th and 18th. Those are Slide Road from 58th to 69th Street, as well as Quaker, Indiana, and University intersections with the South Loop. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Imani.